prayers. It's time for some action. The vaccine has to get in everybody's arm in order to prevent surgery. Mr. Floyd died from a low level of oxygen. Welcome to Sunday today on this April 11th. I'm Willie Geist. Even as the rapid acceleration of vaccinations has states across the country loosening COVID restrictions this weekend, the United States still is facing big challenges with coronavirus this morning. A production problem means the supply of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine will drop this week, just as COVID variants are contributing to an increase in cases in more than half the country. We'll have the latest in a live report just ahead. Then our Sunday focus on vaccine passports. Should you be required to prove you've been vaccinated to enter a restaurant, concert, or the place where you work? We'll have the debate around an idea some states already have banned. Plus, in our Sunday spotlight on this World Parkinson's Day, the extraordinary man who received his diagnosis and then packed up for the Appalachian Trail. Oscar nominee Amanda Seyfried on her career from teenage years on soap operas to Mean Girls and Mamma Mia. And now, the dream role that has earned her an Academy Award nomination. I was sleeping when, I, when my mom came back and told me that I'd gotten the nomination. She was like, I keep coming. <laughs> I woke up and I was like. <laughs> A Sunday sit down with Amanda Seyfried, plus another life well lived, all a bit later in the show. But let's begin this morning with the latest on the coronavirus crisis as the United States prepares for a shortage of vaccines from Johnson & Johnson. NBC's Gotti Schwartz is following the story from Los Angeles. Gotti, good morning. Hey, good morning, Willie. In the week ahead, we're looking at us 86% drop million doses at a production facility in Baltimore. This shortage coming as many states continue to open up vaccine eligibility. This morning, the nation preparing for a new shortage of Johnson & Johnson vaccines, dropping from over 4 million distributed last week to just over 700. Every single vial, every single dose, the way we are today, we notice them. So it's not troubling, but it is something that could slow down our pace of vaccination in the next week or two. Today, 21% of Americans are now fully vaccinated. Half the country continues to see significant increases in cases. Colorado entering a fourth wave. Oregon expecting a spike in deaths, but Michigan is the new virus hotspot. The governor asking for more vaccine doses as hospitals get closer to capacity. Yet Utah just removed its mask mandate, and in Florida, a defiant crowd. 